let okay. me understand the concept of the road map most of your questions whatever your questions assignments and all i will uh, clarify all these things okay no problem thank you thank you okay so let me answer the question so let's say as you have learned yesterday we discussed about what is business analytics and all what is that we have seen a retail example we have seen the pizza examples and all right how do you become a business analyst or how do you become a data analyst that's what we are going to learn what are the steps are we going to follow today to become the data analyst or business analyst or a data scientist so yesterday we discussed the definition of analytics what is the analytics what is the meaning of analytics guys so what is the definition of analytics art of making decisions making decisions sorry my bad art of making decisions by using existing so you made a decision but where to use the decision where to use the decision in business only right or maybe in our life the real world real world life everything now how do you learn how to learn or how are you going to learn about business analytics so how we can able to make a decision in the real world so in this session we are going to cover about the road map first what is the introduction to business analytics like excel python sql tableau statistics all these things we go with the one by one so first thing i am going to talk about business analytics so what are you expecting from this course guys tell me what are you expecting from this course you are planning to learn or join this course what are you expecting from this course let me explain so as we are living in the data world so we need to understand current based on the current available information we need to understand the past and we need to predict the future with the help of business analytics we are going to study about the past current and future and uh, we all it also help us to understand the patterns of a data if you able to understand the patterns of a data then it would be better for us to understand about the past tense present and future to do that we are going to use the only the course is the business analytics so in this business analytics we follow the so first step is tool based one microsoft python 2 tableau 3 SQL four, statistics five, machine learning six, structured eight. Now interview preparation certification. Like yes, we are following entire. If you want to be an expert in business analytics, or you want to get a job into business analytics, or you want to get a good package with a business analytics, you must have to follow the nine step mantra. First and foremost. so nowadays if i need to calculate interest rate what should i do suppose everyone for example everyone are working or maybe you have education loan you have a farmer loan you have a automobile loan car loan you have a house loan how much loan being deducted from your account monthly do you know that how they are calculating how banks calculate the emi per month do you know it do you know it how to do any idea how banks are calculating emis per month how much loan is being deducted from your account do you know how to calculate for example i given a 10 records i just given a 10 records and i just want to understand i want to sort the data based on name wise or name alphabetical order or based on the salary i want to sort the data how will you perform two questions i given two questions i given one is how much loan being calculated so does anyone have home loan personal loan or automobile car loan anyone car loan okay let me take an example car loan first is the loan amount what is the loan amount cost 6 lakhs loan tenor loan tenor is tenure for how many, how many years you need to complete 5 years interest rate let's say 9% per annum right now now tell me guys he has the given this data now tell me how much amount is deducting from the account how much amount does kohli need to pay any idea guys any idea very simple it can be done in excel let me open the excel loan amount so i'm just entering the details loan amount what is the loan amount 6 lakhs tenure 5 years interest rate he said interest rate he said 9% now tell me is 9% per month or year wise so there is a function called pmt pmt rate that is interest rate 9% so i'm selecting the is equal to pmt 9 divided by 12 month wise right calculating comma tenure 5 years it should be in months right into 12 comma present value 6 lakhs that's all so every month it is going from his pocket is 
let's say it should be in rupees, should be Indian rupees. It is going on an average. Minus means it is going from your pocket. So on an average, it is going every month is 12,455 rupees. It is that simple. Maybe if it is 8.5, if it is a 12%, if it is a 12%, if it is 18%, if it is 2%, if it is, let's see, if it is 1.35%. See guys, how it is calculating automatically. Even if it talk about 10.35, see how we are calculating. So that means, now if I ask you an example as an Excel, if I ask you as an example, so what we have done Excel, what we have done in Excel, we just calculated the, we just calculated the some mathematical function. If your volume of data is low, maybe less than 1 million records. If your volume of data is low, less than 1 million record. In that case, Excel is the best option. Excel is the best option. In real world, as I'm working as a director of the company for HSBC, without Excel, we cannot survive. Though you know the Power BI, though you know X SQL, though you know Tableau, though you know data science, everyone, or you have a Java developer, or you have a .NET developer, everyone must and should learn the Excel. Everyone must and should learn the Excel. So without Excel, without Excel, it is not possible to survive in the industry. So in Excel, it is a very easy tool. In this course, we are going to learn, start from very basic to advanced. We are going to learn from start. So you learn how to install the Excel. What is the cell? How to give a cell reference? What are the different type of cell reference? How to format the date? Where various functions like date functions, like text functions, mathematical functions, like statistical functions, like if and if functions, like logical functions, different different functions we do solve. And also we are going to learn how to sort the data, how to perform random sort, how to perform alphabetical order, all A to Z or Z to A, how to perform numbers J, A to B or B to, I mean numbers from ascending, I mean ascending order or descending order. And most important thing is, how to perform the data analysis. How are you going to make a decision by using Excel? Simple guys, very, very simple. Let me ask you a simple, I've given a, I've given a simple example. Let's say I've taken simple data, two records data or 10 records data, not more than that. Let me open the file. So what is, look into the columns. I have a two records. What are those two columns? What are those? What are those? What are the two columns you can see here in this case? No, have you ever been to any mall? Yes. So I so in the mall you might have seen the King Burger King and what are the different Burger King like Domino's, McD, McD and all. Now number of selling burgers depends on what number customers. of customers is nothing but visitors, right? So I just want to understand how many burgers are going to sell tomorrow. That means how many burgers are we, are we predicting for future, right? How many variables we have here? Two variables, right? Mm -hmm. Two are the numbers. Just to example. If you don't know anyone about the Excel, don't mind. I'll just give a big best example. So I'm taking how many records guys? Simple. I've taken the 30 records guys. Simple. I'm taking the two variables to compare two numerical variables. These are the numerical values numbers to compare the two numerical values. We are going to use scatter plot. This is scatter plot. I'll explain guys. So your plus axis title X axis is the visitors. Simple guys. Don't worry. X axis is the visitor. Y axis is burgers. So guys, can you interpret this one? Try to understand. As X axis increases, what is X axis value? What visitors? What is there in Y axis? Burgers. As visitors are increasing, as visitors are increasing, what happened to number of burgers by looking at this graph? Increasing. So can you come to a conclusion that if we more number of visitors are visiting the mark, the number of burgers sold will increase or decrease? number of burgers will increase. Now, how much it is increasing? I want to predict it. In simple, I want to predict it. By using Excel, how do I do? We understood by looking at this data, 
as number of visitors are increasing, burgers also will increase. Selling of burgers will increase. But how much is increasing? For example, tomorrow, let's say 5,000 visitors are coming to my shop. Let's say tomorrow 5,000 visitors are coming to my shop or store. How many burgers I need? I get to know that tomorrow 5,000 customers or visitors coming to store. Let's say 50,000 customers are coming to store or mall. How many burgers do I need to make ready? Is it a business problem? Yes. Now, how do you deal this kind of thing? So here in this case, we are going to use simple guys. Let me take, well, let's take one example. Can you see that? Can you go to the tab of data, everyone? Can you see the data analysis? Everyone, there is an option called regression. Can you see the regression? And why? Why means what you're predicting? Burgers. So this is the burgers. X means, what is X? Number of visitors. Labels. Don't worry. I just need about the new worksheet. That's all. This is what I got. This is the coefficient value. Sir, don't worry about these numbers and all. Don't worry about these numbers and all. I will explain with the help of statistics. Okay, there is a numbers intercept and visitors. These are the two numbers which are required to me. This is the intercept and these are the visitor coefficient. Let's say 50,000 visitors are coming. Now, how many sales? 31 plus 50,000 into 0. Point. So if 50,000 visitors are coming to mall, I need to make 10,000 burgers. If 5,000, only 10,000 burgers, 1,038 burgers. Only 500 is coming to store. If none of the zero, still I am able to get, we don't know, minimum worst to worst case, we can able to sell 32 burgers. We can able to sell 32 burgers. We can able to sell 32 burgers. Are you clear about this? So to deal, I mean, my intent here, sir, I don't know what you're explaining and all. That's fine. But my intent is with the help of Excel also, we can predict the mission learning or we can use the mission learning. With simple Excel also, have you ever thought about it? So Excel has a lot of features where you can use the forecasting, where you can predict tomorrow, where you can predict response or not respond, where the campaigns are happening, not happening. Everything can be done in the Excel, guys. So what I would suggest, if you want to be a data analyst, business analyst or data scientist, first and foremost skill you are going to learn is very, very important is before you get a job is Excel. You need to be thorough with the Excel. Are you clear about this? What is the importance of the Excel? Why I need to use the Excel? Next point. Are you clear about the Excel? Any questions or any doubt? I will come to the sir. Tab or Excel, I will come. Power BI, I will come. Okay. Next. Are you clear about this? Next. Python. Okay, boss. You in Excel, you are performing all these things. But next thing is nowadays. Next. Next one thing. Okay. In Excel, you are performing that. What if Excel can able to handle up to 1 million records? What if your data is more than 1 million? You want to perform in the sorting or you want to create a new column or you want to perform some complex functionality where you need to write a programming language there are n number of programming languages like java py java ss r language c language c plus but one of the prominent language and most demand language to automate your task by using different built-in functions where you require to write very, very less code, where you, where you require to write very minimal code and easy to understand across the industry, uh, people are using only one language that is called as Python language. Only one language that is called as Python language. Now, in Python, what is, sir, I never worked on Python coding. I don't know Python coding. Are you going to teach you from very basics? Yes. I will start teaching from what is Python. So the object is something like our goal. So if you are starting about the Python, you should be something like, uh, so the object, the course is designed, people learn, enable data. So all the, all the applications in the business analytics, all things we are going to learn. So we are going to start from introduction to Python. What is Python? and uh, variables are different data types how to apply the conditions what are the conditions we applied or how to apply the logics and r and how to iterate the multiple for example every month first date i want to generate the report for defaulters every month i want to generate the credit card bill how do i generate how do i generate automated report 
So for that, we are going to use a code, how to use the different functions, how to create your own functions or library, how to deal with the text files. Regarding data science or business analytics, what are the different libraries we have? So different libraries we have and uh, pandas, uh, visualization. So in Excel, do you know the guys, do you know how to build, do you know, can we build dashboards by using Excel? Do you know, have you ever heard about, can we build a dashboard by using Excel? Yes, for example, uh, let's say unbuild dashboards. So for example, I want to show you something. I should have opened it. Unfortunately, I did not. So let's say I will open from here. Let me just give me one second. So for example, this is that. So this is that, for example, this is a dashboard. I just want to change the, like I just, I use for another project which I created for our students. Maybe I've selected the weekly data. So automatically weekly, I want to select one data. Automatically the numbers are changing. See, can you see monthly data? Automatically the numbers are changing, right? Quarterly data, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, right? So this kind of trends, what are the trends? Quarterly planning trends, weekly planning trends, graphs, maybe south, middle, midlands, central, right? I'm going to use different, different graphs, quarterly. I mean, so this is what we created the Excel, right? This is what we created in Excel. Now, can we do same thing? Do you know people can do similar things in Python, Power BI, right? Power BI, Tableau. Yes or no? Can we do similar things, dashboards in Python? So what is our learning methodology? We are going to learn how to create a dashboard in Excel. And we also learn how to create a dashboard in Python. And we also learn how to create a dashboard without writing a code, without using Excel, how, with, with the, by the help of visualization to like Power BI Tableau. We can learn that. That is the quality we are going to get here. So once you, by learning these skills, once you enter in the industry, you can easily survive. If they ask, hey, do you know how to write the Python code? If they give any task, because you in Python, by the help of code, you're building a dashboard here. That means you are expert in the Python. So if whatever the code they've given to you, you should get, you should be ready with that. What do you expect from you? Just as a fresher and all, you need to spend, you need to spend minimum practicals. You need to go download the data set. Minimum daily as your fresher. You never been worked with any organization. Six to eight hours you need to timely download and submit the assignments. That's what we are expecting from you guys. Study that. We'll teach you the concept. So we'll teach you the practical concept, theoretical and practical. Go through the theory and practical and download the relevant the data sets or analysis. Do the implement your problems or solution on your own. Practice it. At least you are a fresher. You never worked in any industry. At least we would expect you to do spend six to eight hours. You are expert. You have some good amount of time. Don't have at least minimum. You need to expert three to four hours and download the and submit the assignment as they discussed right so next i hope you are clear about the python next are any questions any doubt now we learn about the how to create a dashboards now we are going to learn for visualization sir why we need if already we have a python there is a huge concept sir macros will be that without macros how can you create a dashboards in excel sir without macros how are you going to create a dashboards in excel simple dashboards can be done with the help of filters by using like the way i explained i show you the one example right to you now that cannot be done with the help of filters it can be done with the help of macros only now so this one if you go with the visualization sir i don't want to write a macro sir i don't want to use a python code is there any other way to display or to use the dashboard to create a dashboards so one of the nowadays people are using Tableau or Power BI. So guys, here we are going to choose one of the thing. Depends on the most of the people in trust. There is no force it. If you know the Tableau or if you know the Power BI, it will be the same at the end of the day. So if most of the people wants Power BI, we can teach Power BI. If the most of the people wants Tableau, we can teach the Tableau. However, if you ask me to teach the Power BI, I can give the tablet as a, a recorded videos or vice versa. But, but one thing people may think that, sorry, now we have a Power BI full stack course. There you are teaching 50 classes. Are you going to teach your 50 classes? Definitely no. We are going to complete entire Power BI in 15 to 20 classes, which are required for us to create a dashboards where we can present to management and all. Clear? I hope someone has asked this question. Are you going to teach the both or one? 
okay next thing is sql so guys here in all the story whatever we discuss in all the story in all the story we discuss about the data 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 we are perform data analysis we are creating dashboard how many record excel can able to handle how many records excel can able to handle how many rows excel will have can able to handle how many records excel can have? maximum 1 million do you agree with me what if your volume of data is more than 1 million are we going to use excel does excel supports us definitely no even you take the python python is a tool it depends purely on ram ram is a 16 gb or 18 gb it could be maximum deal with up to 18 gb or 16 gb or 32 gb not more than that and power bi is a just a tool to dis or to create dashboard Again, it is required a database to store large volume of a data. To store large volume of a data, only one and only one tool is a bread and butter for everyone in this world. It is mandatory for every student to learn SQL. To learn SQL. So SQL is the tool which is very very required. But Excel SQL sorry SQL deals with the table data. Only table data, and we can also learn if it is a data JSON file. How to how to convert JSON file into table data? But there is a limitation for SQL also, guys. The limitation is very simple. It can if it is a huge, let's say 20 20 etabytes, which is a very very huge volume of data. Excel cannot able to handle. In that case, we need to learn about PySpark, Park, Parallel Processing Systems. Park, we are going to learn. Nowadays, as we are living in the digital world, every day, every minute, we are using huge volume of data or generating the huge volume of data. So for that purpose, for that purpose, we are going to use the PySpark. We are going to use the PySpark. So along with the SQL and the PySpark, the number of opportunities are more and more guys. Let me show you one example. Let me show you one example. So if I open the Naukri account, I hope everyone know about the Naukri. Let's say open the Naukri.com. Simple. Let's say oh, it is asking the username and password. I don't want username and password. Naukri jobs on SQL and iSpark. Okay. Spark SQL jobs. Spark SQL is nothing but Spark. Or... So guys, this is called as a data engineer who knows the Spark. Or let's say simple Spark, SQL, PySpark, SQL, Excel, Power BI, Python. I'm writing all these things. Nothing. Python, Excel. See, Python, Excel, guys. One to five years. Analyst. Analyst. One to three years. Data analyst. See, not disclosed. I mean, two days ago. Zero to five. One of our students had an interview at seven o'clock today on this Infotech. Fresher as a fresher. So fresh to home. Logistics now data analyst see here maybe you can see here the opportunities so that's what so they're asking only about the let's open this job data analyst modeling what they're asking see statistics or any graduation key skills what they're asking guys can you check it what they're asking ba tool ms excel sql and they're asking about the sas or they're asking about the capacity model building planning framework and all right that's what even if you look into another example even if you look into another example let's say can i open the i mean can i open the data analyst this one trainee candidates trainees for our clients immediate openings full time maybe they did not mention any details about this maybe let's open another thing data analyst see python tableau fresher excel data analytics data visualization sql is mandatory maybe if you go with the another thing six lakhs to 10 lakhs package they're giving fresher hyderabad pune and all areas so they're asking about sql excel python simple good written communication skills right now okay i hope understood right so that is a sir you want to build a machine learning and all you required statistics and explore how to identify the patterns how to check the data quality whether whatever the data you have received whether it is quality or or how do you check that how to perform the analysis in power bi and all you can just whatever the data you have you can just build the dashboard charts and everything but how do you know whether the data is given the correct data how do you identify the root cause for example i just want to understand who is going to leave the who is going to leave the network in the next one year how do i know what is the reason people are leaving the bank what is the reason for recession in india just want to identify the root cause of the problem to understand the root cause of the problem we are going to use the statistics under exploratory data analysis statistics under exploratory data analysis right now so and the most important thing guys how many have worked for real time how many have worked for industry so now most of the people have a two problems 
So, and even if you observe that, if manager has given a task to you, five plus years as a fresher, one year, two years experience, guys, are a fresher, they don't know what to do. Am I right? They don't know what to do. Am I right? Do you agree with me? They don't yes, know yes. what to do. And they think, are a manager is assigned a task. Are a, can you please help me? Can you please explain? Are especially the people who go with the proxy, proxies or anything. I'm not offering experience and all. If manager given a task to them, they will feel really worried. Do you have you ever seen that kind of situations, guys? Have you ever seen that kind of situations? Yes. So for that, what we are going to deal, we are only specialized with this course. If we won't find anywhere, thinking, structural thing, if you're given a business problem to you, how to solve the business problem step by step? If a if if you got a one project, if you got one project, how are we going to deal step by step? How are you going to deal step by step? What are the process? What are how to improve the your thinking process? How to improve your work working skills and all? And as well as whatever the work you have done, how to communicate to business? How to communicate to business or how to communicate to your client? What to explain? What not? This is the one, we are the only specialized people who can teach you guys. We are the specialized people where we can teach you. We can teach you guys. This is the speciality of our course, guys. This is the speciality of the course. With my 10 plus of experience, guys, this is my, with the 10 plus of my experience, I would say 12 plus. No, 12 plus or 11.5 something. Okay. With my 11 years of experience, I have created this module, guys. You won't find anywhere in the internet also. The way, let's say, for example, you are dri driving a car. If you get a problem, what will you do? You try to understand the what is the issue, right? For example, you are driving a two-wheeler. All of a sudden, your bike got stopped or not going further. What will you do? Try to think where is the problem, whether fuel is not there. Step by step, will you do, right? Similarly, we can teach you how to solve your projects in the real world step by step. What to do, what not to do. What are methodologies we need to follow? These kind of things we are going to learn here in this case. Okay. And the people with five years or three years experience also, uh, how to communicate professionally to managers or clients, we can teach this methodology. Next, mission learning. Mission learning. How to build mission learning models. How to forecast the future based on the existing. The example we have seen in Excel. How to build the mission learning model with the help of Excel, Python, PySpar and all we are going to learn and we'll do the projects also and finally once you are done each module wise we'll give the three to four projects and each module we have an assignment and each topic we have a quiz minimum two to five quiz quiz points after that once you have cleared finally we'll give one major project then we assure a certificate and also we do provide you the internships we provide you the internship so as a fresher, you would never work done anywhere. For them, we can assure to get minimum six months of internship. With a fresher, I just learned the course. I want to get me a job. No one will give you. But with the internship, sir, I have done this project my as a freelance. I can able to get. For example, there is a website called Upwork. 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 Upwork freelance. See, Upwork, this is a marketplace. Maybe you can search data analysis works, data analysis, analytics. These are the data analytics. So projects you can get from projects are projects are everything. Data analytics project work. Maybe you can get from this. I think I need a login. Then I can able to show you all the details. So maybe data science analytics. You can get the projects guys. You can like the people like this. You can get the projects. Okay. Now any questions. So then you can to showcase your work to companies. No need to put the fake experience and all. No need to put the fake experience and all. You can able to deliver these kind of things right you can able to deliver this kind of thing that is all about this do you have any questions for me thank you guys